hello everyone welcome to the aromaticity part 2 in this we will discuss homo aromaticity molecular orbital description of aromaticity and some aromaticity, aromaticity concept based problems and their solutions let us start with the homo aromaticity homo aromaticity is a term used to describe systems in which a stabilized cyclic conjugated 4 and plus 2 pi system is formed by bypassing one saturated atom the saturated atom in the ring lies almost vertically to the plane of the sp2 atoms and this is also called bridge a hypothetical homo aromatic molecule is shown here the resulting stabilization is expected to be reduced because of poor overlap of the orbitals but the properties of several such systems suggest that there is substantial stabilization. Depending upon the number of bridges, they have been classified as monohomoaromatic, bishomoaromatic, trishomoaromatic compounds, and so on. Homoaromaticity decreases with the increasing number of bridges. The cyclooctatrienyl cation, also called homotrapelium ion, is an example of monohomoaromatic compound. Homoaromatic homotropelium ion can be formed by dissolving cyclooctatetraen in concentrated H2SO4. In this, an aromatic sextet is prepared. Is, is in this an aromatic sextet is spread over seven carbon atoms as in tropelium ion in order for the orbitals to overlap most efficiently so as to close a loop the sp3 carbon is forced to lie almost vertically above the plane of the sp2 atoms the proton nmr shows presence of diatropic ring current a significant feature of the proton nmr spectrum of this cation is the fact that the proton A and B exhibit sharply different chemical shifts. We know that the central zone of aromatic ring is shielding while peripheral zone is de-shielding. So the proton B lying above the shielding zone is highly shielded resonating at minus 0.3 ppm while proton A lying in the peripheral zone resonates at 5.1 ppm. Cyclobutenyl cation, a homologue of aromatic cyclopropenyl cation, is another example of homoaromatic compound which can be prepared from 3 acetoxy cyclobutene under super acid condition. 7 narboronyl cation, 1 3 bis homotropelium ion, and bridged. 1,4 bis homotropelium ion are the examples of bis homoaromatic compounds since there are two bridges. In these compounds, the starred atoms represent bridge. 1,4,7 cyclonotriene, triquinacine, and tricycloundecane trienyl cation with three bridges are the examples of tris homoaromatic compounds where the bridged atoms are shown by a star. For the sake of better understanding, both the top and side views of these molecules are given. Now come to the molecular orbital description of aromaticity. The energy label diagram of the molecular orbitals resulting from the combination of any regular cyclic arrangement of pi orbitals can be deduced from appropriately sided polygon. The trick is called frost circle or sometimes the polygon method. In this method, a circle is inscribed with a polygon with one vertex pointing downward. The, vertic the vertices represent energy levels with the appropriate energies. The horizontal diameter shown by the red line represents the energy level of 
pi orbital and the energy level on this line represent non bonding molecular orbitals all the molecular orbitals with the energies below this line are bonding while all those above this line are anti bonding so let us discuss frost diagram of cyclopropenyl cation and cyclopropenyl anion as examples of three membered cyclic ring systems since there are three carbon atoms in the ring so the frost diagram will be a circle inscribed with an equilateral triangle one of the vertex will be pointing downwards one molecular orbital lying above the horizontal diameter is bonding while the two molecular orbitals lying above the horizontal diameter are anti bonding orbitals in cyclopropenyl cation there are only two pi electrons so according to the hund's rule both will occupy bonding molecular orbital since there is no unpaired electron thus the molecule will be diatropic or we can say aromatic in cyclopropenyl anion there are four pi electrons so according to the hund's rule two will occupy bonding molecular orbital and the remaining two will occupy anti bonding molecular orbitals since there are unpaired electrons therefore the molecule will be paratropic or we can say anti aromatic in four member ring systems we are going to discuss frost diagram of cyclobutadiene and cyclobutenyl dication since there are four carbon atoms in the ring so the frost diagram will be a circle inscribed with an square one of the vertex will be pointing downwards the two orbitals lying on the horizontal diameter line are non bonding or molecular orbitals the orbital below the horizontal diameter line is bonding while the orbital above the horizontal diameter line is anti bonding molecular orbital in cyclobutadiene there are four pi electron so according to the hund's rule two electrons will occupy bonding molecular orbital while remaining two will occupy non bonding orbitals since there are unpaired electrons so the molecule will be paratropic or we can say anti aromatic in cyclobutenyl dication there are only two electrons that will occupy bonding molecular orbital since there is no unpaired electron thus the molecule will be diatropic or we can say aromatic the frost diagram of five member ring system will be a circle inscribed with a pentagon one of the vertex will be pointing downwards the three orbitals lying below the horizontal lines are bonding molecular orbitals while the two orbitals above the horizontal diameter are anti bonding molecular orbitals in cyclopentadienyl anion there are six pi electrons all these will occupy bonding molecular orbitals since there is no unpaired electron so the molecule will be diatropic or aromatic in cyclopentadienyl cation there are four pi electrons all these will occupy bonding molecular orbitals since there are unpaired electrons so the molecule will be paratropic similarly the frost diagram of six member ring system is a circle inscribed with a hexagon one of the vertex will be pointing downwards the three orbitals lying below the horizontal diameter line are bonding molecular orbitals while the three orbitals above the horizontal diameter line are anti bonding molecular orbitals we have taken benzene and pyridine as examples of six member ring systems in both benzene and pyridine there are six pi electrons and all these will occupy bonding molecular orbitals since there is no unpaired electron so the molecule will be diatropic or aromatic now we will discuss aromaticity concept based now we will discuss aromaticity concept based problems and their solution question number 1 which of the following molecules has greater dipole moment 
the dipole moment of these molecules result from the polarity of carbonyl bond the higher the polarity of this bond the greater will be the dipole moment the completely polarized form of a is more stable than completely polarized form of b because in this form cyclopropenium cation is aromatic therefore a has greater concentration of negative charge on its oxygen which gives a a greater dipole moment question number 2 which is more soluble in water 3 bromo cyclopropene or bromo cyclopropene solubility in aqueous solution increases with the increasing stability of cation 3 bromo cyclopropene after removal of bromide ion gives more stable cyclopropenium ion the higher the stability of cyclopropenium ion is due to its aromatic nature bromo cyclopropene after removal of ion bromide ion gives cyclopropyl cation which is less stable than cyclopropenium ion because of non aromatic nature so 3 bromo cyclopropene is more solvated in water than bromo cyclopropene question number 3 predict the relative pka of cyclopropene and cyclopropene cyclopropenyl anion the conjugate base of cyclopropene is a non aromatic species while the cyclopropenyl anion the conjugate base of cyclopropene is an anti aromatic species we know that a non aromatic species is more stable than an anti aromatic species therefore cyclopropenyl anion cyclopropenyl anion is more stable than cyclopropenyl anion and consequently cyclopropene will have lower pk than cyclopropene question number 4 explain the pk order of the following compounds pk order can be explained based on the stability of conjugate base the greater the stability of conjugate base the higher the acidic nature and thus lower will be the pka value among a b and c the conjugate base of c is the most stable because of aromatic character conjugate base of a is the least stable because the negative charge is localized conjugate base of b is more stable than conjugate base of a but less stable than conjugate base of c because this is a non aromatic species with delocalized negative charge question number 5 predict the direction of dipole moment in methylene cyclopropene fulvin calicin and pen penta hepta fulvalin in methylene cyclopropene shifting of electron pairs of exocyclic double bond towards the methylene carbon gives cyclopropenyl cation which is aromatic so the direction of dipole moment will be from cyclopropenyl ring to methylene carbon in fulvin shifting of electron pairs of the exocyclic double bond towards the cyclopentadiene gives cyclopentadienyl anion which is aromatic so the direction of dipole moment will be from methylene carbon to cyclopentadiene in calicin shifting of electron pairs of exocyclic double bond towards the cyclopentadiene leaves both the 3 and 5 member rings aromatic so the direction of dipole moment will be from 3 member ring to 5 member ring in pentaheptafulvalene 
Shifting of electron pairs of the exocyclic double bond towards the cyclopentadiene leaves both the 5 and 7 member rings aromatic. So the reaction of dipole moment will be from 7 member ring to 5 member ring. Question number 6. Explain why barrier of rotation about the marked bond in the given molecule is slow. Shifting of electron pairs of marked double bond towards the 6 member ring leaves both the rings aromatic. Because of this, the marked bond has less double bond character and that is why it has lower rotational barrier. Question number 7. Explain the pKa order in the following molecules. We know that the greater the stability of conjugate base, higher the acidic nature and lower will be the pK of the compound. The stability of conjugate base conjugate base of A is the highest followed by conjugate base of B and then conjugate base of C. This is because of the elimination effect. So A will be A will have the lowest pK followed by B and then C. Hope this lecture will be helpful for you guys. Thank you very much.